Would you like to turn five altcoins into five million dollars? Does this sound too good to be true? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a hidden gem that I believe has the potential to 100X, and best of all, it's not even on the market yet. So I need to inform you, I am not a financial advisor. Treat this purely as educational purposes only. FOMO into the research, not into the projects that I highlight in this video. If you enjoy these sorts of videos and want to build generational level wealth, I'd really appreciate it if you mash that like button, subscribe, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And for more urgent, time sensitive news, join us in the Discord. Link is in the description of the video. Right, let's get down to the desktop okay guys let's jump down into the very first altcoin that we want to talk about on the road to five million dollars um so let's bring up the first one this is going to be singularity net chris so this is a fantastic project we've been talking about since 2020 it's great to see that it's finally getting some of the recognition that it deserves do you want to talk a little bit top level chris on what singularity net is yeah so it's a uh, basically decentralized um I guess, artificial intelligence and machine learning marketplace, right? And, uh, you know, what an achievement. It has broken into the top 100. I think when we first started talking about this one, Nick, it was like rank like 5,000 or something, uh, you know, by market cap. So significant growth uh, around the, the new artificial intelligence and machine learning narrative that is out there. But... Um, AI, as people are probably starting to realize, um, you know, is, is is something that's got huge potential. You have a look at the, the current um, AI um, purchases of companies that are happening out there. It's the likes of Google, Amazon, like it's all the big monstrous companies, Apple, that are purchasing up all of the, uh, you know, the developing and, and newer AI companies around the world and what singularity net does is it levels that playing field so the smaller businesses can access you know the the same level of artificial intelligence and machine learning uh applications uh, that you wouldn't normally be able to do and that is the power of you know a community and uh, decentralization right Absolutely. Let's just talk a little bit on the numbers behind Singularity Net, because I do think this is a future $5 coin at some point in the future, right? And mm. um, the circulating supply at the moment is $1.1 nine nine billion it's about 60 percent distributed it actually has a 99 year distribution model um on the developments that happened back in 2021 uh, which i mentioned uh, minted a new 1 million tokens as they look to migrate over from the ethereum ecosystem to the cardano ecosystem so i'm not too worried or too concerned about the distribution model it is kind of all staged out and it's quite well documented which is fantastic so 1.1 1 .1, uh, billion currently out there almost 1.2 billion um out there at the moment which is great now from a market cap point of view market caps are hovering around the 518 million and um, to kind of put that into context in the last 24 hours the volume the trading volume is about 359 million dollars so uh, things are progressing quite nicely at rank 79 as you say topping into the top 100 and um, We've seen this thing absolutely skyrocket recently. If I actually just quickly uh, find the chart here for AGIX, you can see that it's moved up 1,223% in a very short space of time. This is from November 2022 through to current. Um, so things are moving quite nicely as we now rock a 43.2 cent um, AGIX token, which is fantastic. But as I say, I still think there's a lot more growth here for AGIX. I do think that this is a project that is likely to see $5 at some point in the future, whether that is one or two bull runs out i do not know um but you know i'm super excited to see some progression here when it comes to singularity net in terms of the tokenomics and the development that they're actually making in terms of their decentralized marketplace the migration over to the cardano ecosystem and the fantastic things that are coming on the singularity net ecosystem as a whole chris i think uh, this is something that many people should be looking at having in their portfolio of uh, five or so coins because I do think this is the kind of thing that helps you kind of on that journey towards $5 million. Uh, any kind of last thoughts on Singularity Net, Chris? Yeah, look, um, I think in the intro, we're like subscribe and, and tap the bell for notifications, right? One reason why I want to say people should do that, right? And uh, the value that, you know, we bring to to, to the, 
the community within crypto is the fact that we were talking about this one back in 2020. Matter of fact, we've been talking about this continuously since 2020. In fact, um, you could have got in to this project at just under two and a half cent when we were first talking about this project you know this reminds me very much of like when we were talking about matic um i don't think that we've seen the full growth uh spurt from singularity net yet and i do think that we're going to see some lower prices so some potential opportunities to to get in uh cheaper than we are today but what i would say is you know you would have been able to have got this less than two and a half cent if yeah, you were most recently and, yeah yeah, I mean, most recently, Chris, our Patreon members would know that the accumulation zones have been around that kind of 3.5 to 4.5 cent range yeah. for quite a period of time. Uh, we had this great accumulation range down here as well. Um, so, yeah, I think it's one of those things, right? If you're not subscribed, you're missing out. And if you're not a Patreon member, then you're missing out on some top alpha uh, content as well, as you like to say, Chris. Yeah, look, I do want to say it because all the other influencers talk about, you know, alpha content and uh, the true alpha is here at Cheeky Crypto. It is. Let's move on to coin number two, right? Because we're on the journey to 5 million. I think Singularity Net is a fantastic start with seeing so many gains uh, so quickly as well. Let's move on into project number two, Findora, Chris. You want to give a bit of an overview as to what Findora are trying to achieve? Yeah. So look, right, I want to be really clear. This was actually one that was brought to us um, to, to take a look at from the Harmony community, right? And uh, a lot of the Harmony community did get involved in in Findora early in uh, 2022. And um, I did a review and I've reviewed over five, uh, no, over 300 altcoins, probably closer to 320 altcoins in the last, you know, 12 months or so. And uh, this one is right up near the top of, you know, the potential list when it comes to all of the ones that I've been asked to, to review. And uh, it's a layer one protocol and it's all around privacy, uh, you know, being able to mask, unmask. So, you know, there's a, a whole host of different, um, I guess, uh, utilities and use cases for this particular project. If we have a look at like the medical aspect of things, being able to give permission to your doctor to be able to unmask your medical details on chain and, and stuff like that is you know one use case. You can go into the gaming. Let's say you were doing like a Call of Duty style video game on the blockchain you know you might not want your enemy in the game to to know what it is that you hold nft wise so being able to mask it up would be really useful so you know there's a couple of examples where i think you know findora will excel obviously we've had midnight from uh, cardano obviously we were the first channel in the world on youtube to um break the news of uh, midnight because we were there with an exclusive email with charles hoskinson and midnight is doing a very similar thing to to findora in but it's on the cardano ecosystem initially whereas this is on the ethereum uh, chain so i do think this one's going to do really well it's up 7.83 percent today uh, but this is why you subscribe to our channel because look at that price nick Absolutely i know that's still uh... Let's jump into these numbers, right? So we have seen some cheaper prices when it comes to the FRA token. Um, <clears throat> but right now, yeah, it's rocking 0.001896. I think the growth potential here is very, very large. And it's a big task to do. So we're super early when it, when it comes to the the, the, the future pros uh, prospects for Findora and FRA. Um, but we are super early. Now, in terms of circulating supply, there's 4.6 billion tokens out there, which is 22% distributed total. Um, maximum supply, I should say, uh, will be 21 billion at some point in the future. So do be aware that the supply is going to grow over time. And then obviously supply and demand is everything. So just bear in mind that over time, the supply coming into the ecosystem or into the markets is going to suppress price uh, gradually. But right now at 4.6 billion tokens, it isn't too bad. So you can get in nice and early, make sure you get out early as well. And I do think there's a lot of progression here when it comes to Findora. I think the use case and technology and what they're trying to do is going to be something that is incredibly important uh, and something that I do think is very much needed in this space. But do be aware that I am a little bit cautious when it comes to 21 billion is a maximum supply in the same way that you look at XLM or you look at xrp uh, big distributions um they they do become a little bit di more difficult to see price move significantly to the upside but that being said with 4.6 it's much lower than other competitors right now so growth potential is quite high and i do think there's a lot of um, good use case here that could see this thing 
move quite nicely. So at the prices that they are right now, I'm not too concerned. At 0.001896, we have seen growth. I think we've seen this down as low as 0.0012 at one point. Um, so it has moved up quite a bit already, um, but I think there's a lot more potential when it comes to Findora's price discovery, specifically as they kind of release new updates and they kind of move uh, along on their roadmap. And I think as it starts to come onto more people's radars, I think the prices are going to move quite nicely to the upside. That's my personal thoughts, but make sure you do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Shall we um, move on to the third or have you got any more final thoughts on Findora? Um, I think the, the the final thoughts is that there's still an, uh, an awful lot of uh, growth that I, I see for for Findora. Um, lots of um, opportunity. Uh, the staking is is really good as well. So you can stake this, and um, you know you can earn a pretty good return. You know on your investment. So we're really early with this one, and this is what we like to do. None of this is paid endorsed or anything like that. There's uh, you know these are our own thoughts, our own opinions based on our research and um, you know thoughts on the market. So I just want to be really clear about that because I do see some of the comments, and they couldn't be further from the truth. Absolutely. Now, the next one needs no introduction, Chris. Definitely not. Uh, this is one that I just think is going to absolutely dominate the crypto space. Um, and that's going to be Cardano. And this is a love or hate it, a Marmite of crypto mm -hmm. world, right? You either believe the FUD and the nonsense from uh, certain individuals in the space, and you believe that Cardano is a ghost chain with no smart contracts and doesn't even have a DEX, uh, all the way through to people who actually understand what's going on here when it comes to Cardano, and you realize that this is an absolute beast that is just waiting to burst out of its cage. So thoughts, Chris, top level, Cardano, go for it. So why cardano because lots of people see us talking about cardano an awful lot and uh, we got into this one at like five cent originally like you know really early on i think you know most of our purchasing was around the eight cent mark um so you know we've done really well on cardano so far but what i would say is it's not too late to get into cardano at the moment i think this is uh, an absolute still obviously it's just my opinion go do your own research but you know you got jed uh, just launched and we uh, did a video yesterday on the podcast channel um uh, no it was, it was on the main channel last night in fact talking about you know the the potential for for cardano with the stable coins launching the smart contracts now available um you know you've got a real opportunity to to build up some uh, total value locked and really see this um this ecosystem flourish so uh, i'm really excited about cardano i think the the micro payments uh, that they um they 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 can offer the um unbanked at the moment uh, in in various parts of the world um, is going to be really, really uh, powerful. And I think that's going to be a, a, a big reason why we see uh, this one move significantly. Plus, you've got other projects like World Mobile building on there as well um, that are looking to connect the unconnected. Again, I think this is just a massive opportunity that hasn't been tapped into just yet. Uh, I'm really excited about Cardano. I'm really excited about many of the projects building on Cardano as well. Um, but at the same time, uh, I've always had this realization that, you know, the um, adoption curve for Cardano from a developer standpoint and dApp standpoint is going to be a little bit strung out in comparison to, say, Ethereum and, and other chains because you've got that barrier to entry of learning new code. So um, excited about this one. I expect huge, huge things. This is uh, my biggest investment in the space uh, by a country mile right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think that this is going to surprise a lot of people, people who just didn't want to believe that Cardano could do the things that it set out to do. Um, and, you know, they're actually moving mountains. So one of those that I think that if you haven't got exposure to, you probably want to do more research, come to your own conclusions and all that wonderful stuff. Don't just blindly follow a lot of the fudders or the people who are just talking about moon numbers. Um, somewhere in the middle of all of that is the actual truth, right? Um, so do your own research, come to your own conclusions. And I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find out about Cardano. The, the future is incredibly bright here, in my opinion. Um, okay, should we move on to the fourth one, Chris? The fourth altcoin on that journey to 5 million. Uh, before we do, I was going to say, I think artificial intelligence is going to be massive on, on Cardano. You're seeing the likes of Singularity Net and various others um, from the AI sort of background uh, going on to, to, to Cardano. Lots of side chains without ledgers, you know, with HyperCycle, again, with the uh, the, the main uh, aim of scaling artificial intelligence on, on the blockchain. So um, 
you know you've got a few narratives that are going to be there and, and align very very well for cardano uh the privacy aspect with moon uh, uh sorry moon night midnight if i get my <laughs> words out um lots of space things on the mind and the moon um but yeah look excited about this one and uh, the opportunities are just massive let's move on let's move on the next one uh does actually link into cardano quite nicely i think the future uh, for cardano does mm. come aligned to more artificial intelligence uh based projects and well we're going to be talking singularity dow singularity dow for retail investors is like a no-brainer right chris yeah oh look like this this is basically a project that is like if you can imagine a traditional like hedge fund um come crypto right it's uh you, you put your crypto into to a diner set and you just let the ai and machine learning uh outperform the the market and you end up you know with more crypto than you would have if you just left it in your wallet doing nothing so for for me this is this is fantastic it's a, a again a, an absolute steal i mean we were purchasing these off of your um analysis uh to what, what's the sheet called i always forget uh, the, the accumulation patron. zones yeah the accumulation zones at like 18 cent maybe even less at points um, no i dollar cost average i got my average price at 18 uh, but we did come down towards the 14.77 you can see mm. this right here um but yeah we did a lot of work with accumulations uh, and all that kind of stuff and yeah we did have that kind of smoked st smoked out uh, staked out around the kind of 18 uh we could have gone down to about 12 but it didn't um and then yeah the, the ai narratives really just popped and and so fantastic gains have been made um, by many of our community on singularity now so far that being said i still think that this is something that has yet to show its true potential and from a number side we're currently rocking it at 65 cent which to me just seems absolutely bonkers when we actually take a look at the circulating supply which is only 56.7 million um s dow tokens and maximum supply is 100 million and um, so we are talking very very low supply in comparison to its counterparts right um so singularity dow does and uh, has spun off from singularity net okay hence the singularity part using artificial intelligence to basically to do in, uh, investments on behalf of retail investors right the ai is going to trade baskets of assets on behalf of retail investors essentially now <clears throat> When we see, um, you know, significantly low supply, uh, you know, of 100 million in comparison to the 2 billion uh, or the 1 billion that you see on other projects, um, we, we can obviously see that that doesn't take terribly too much money to move the needle in any significant way. You couple this, of course, by staking SDAO and, and using the Dyna sets and actually the supply shrinks down even more. So a little bit of demand really can take this one quite significantly higher. I think it's all time high. I think was around six dollars at one point. Yes. Um, yeah. So we've seen it come down quite a bit towards that eighteen cent level, which was fantastic, and it can surprise people because it wasn't that long ago that um, S Dow Singularity Dow was at one ninety two, and we were saying on the channel this is most likely the point where it's going to start to come down quite big. Um, so you kind of exit out at that point and come back in later. And we've seen some fantastic ways of coming out and going back in multiple times. I think for now, though, uh, accumulation is the key message. And I think that SDAO is going to have a retracement. Same with AGIX and uh, many of these other projects that have moved up quite a bit. And this is really where we want to be accumulating. This next pullback is going to be the big one where I think we want to kind of make sure we have strong, secured positions in uh, many of these projects, including Singularity DAO. Because I do think Singularity DAO has probably one of the biggest potentials out of all the altcoins that we're talking about talking about in this video today um, for big potential gains. I think this is going to quite easily 10 to 20x, maybe even more over time. Um, but what's your thoughts on it all? So, you know, <coughs> I, I'm going to I'm going to talk about something, you know, a little bit off, off topic of, of, of Estal to, to start off with. And that is the fact that perception is is a powerful thing, right? And everybody watches Nick's Bitcoin technical analysis videos and talking about, you know, the prices coming down and, you know, the, you know, historically, you know, the the, the lows weren't in and, and all this sort of stuff. Everyone has this perception. I say everyone, a, a pocket of people have this perception that, you know, we missed the bottom. But we really haven't. If you're a Patreon member and you're in the Discord, you get an opportunity to see what it is we're buying, when we're buying it, our buys, our sells, our staking movements, all of that sort of stuff. And you would know that actually we've done very, very well. And so is the community uh, when it comes to to making purchases in this bear market. But as for, for Singularity DAO, um, for me, yeah, it's probably one with the, the biggest um, price potential 
uh, discovery on on this list. I I believe uh, solid team, solid tech, and you know much needed in the space. I feel uh, is a, a project that we've been following for for, for some time, and um, it has been great to to see the um, movements and, and the stuff that they they've been doing in the team. It's all all going well, and um, yeah, look for me, this is uh, a huge opportunity being presented but don't take our words for it you know these are all high risk in in my opinion um you know excluding cardano which is you know probably the the most uh, strongest in the space in, in my opinion but you know overall this is uh you know a, a list of projects that you need to go away do your own research on absolutely let's move on into the fifth coin chris because we are we are rocking and rolling here with the 20 minute video so far mm. um let's jump into the fifth one which is v chain v chain are of course moving absolute mountains in the blockchain space right um in terms of providing enterprise level blockchain technology no one comes anywhere near v chain chris no they don't and uh you know you've got supply chain uh, and that's what everybody sort of associates v chain with but it is more than just supply chain and logistics this is a layer one protocol uh you know it's a top you know uh what, what was uh the the award that they got um always forget they got it out of germany the first ever um five star rated blockchain yeah. that was it um yeah. so look for, for me they're the stuff that they're doing at the moment partnering with real world utility companies and projects for me is what sets this one apart from many others in the space uh i'm surprised it doesn't get spoken about in the same light as the likes of Cardano. Um, I think this is a phenomenal project that's going to go on to do really, really well. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't like their their tokenomics. Uh, I'm going to just take the tokenomics with a pinch of salt at the moment because I kind of feel like over time, you know, either there will be a change there or or something will happen that will make it you know look more appealing. Um, but overall, rank 37th by market cap and yeah really like this project and we're gonna try to get hands on with the technology at some point yeah absolutely i mean talking about the numbers it's currently rocking at 2.4 cent we've seen it reasonably low already at around the 1.5 and you know some good accumulation i still think there's more room to the downside unfortunately on the price but that gives us the fantastic opportunity of accumulation too so i am looking forward to kind of scooping up more uh, v chain we've still got uh, a reasonable position but you know it can always grow and can always be better um you know there is obviously a reasonable amount of circulating supply so uh, take your price expectations with a pinch of salt here do not expect expect like $10 VeChain anytime soon. With 72 billion tokens in circulating supply right now, and this is obviously pretty vast. Now, the tokenomics does have a use case, but as Chris says, watch that space, you never know. Uh, projects do, from time to time, change their tokenomics, and there could be some fantastic things that could happen in the future uh, on the tokenomics side of things. So cheap at the moment, yes, and I think, uh, you know, we had seen this as high as 28 cent in the previous bull run. So, you know, again, from where we are, you're talking 10x just to get to previous all time highs and i do think we're going to see pretty decent progression to the upside when it comes to v chain now the use cases do span way above and beyond just supply chain they obviously do have a lot around authenticate authentication but they are obviously entering into the world of nfts and metaverses and of course now you've got um vusd as well with a stable coin that does bring in the world of potentially uh bringing DeFi onto the ecosystem now v chain as many of you may or may not know is written in the same programming languages as a Ethereum, meaning solidity. So actually with better tooling, better tokenomics in terms of predictable cost models, this is the place where businesses want to be building and um, because it really does help your business flourish even more. And you don't really have a huge learning curve either moving from Ethereum using solidity over there to using solidity on VeChain. Only this, this time you do have better tools such as the VeChain toolchain to really help and progress you along. I do think that VeChain has, uh, has really got cemented itself as the business chain uh, in the world. So uh, any final thoughts on VeChain, Chris? No, we talk about VeChain all the time. Jump in the Discord, join us there, have some more meaningful conversations. And uh, yeah, link is in the description. Absolutely free to join. Right. Do you want to talk about the sixth one, the, uh, a wild card? A wild card. A wild card with huge opportunity, right? I just mentioned jumping into the Discord. Uh, you can find out a lot more on this one down there. But we are... Um, working with a VC firm to deliver a seed round for Rejuve. So Rejuve is the, the project. 
this is all around um longevity life and health and you know all this wonderful stuff and i have been looking at this project with nick for a few months and uh super excited uh we had the hyper cycle sale in the discord recently and that was you know uh massively successful and uh, i think this one's going to do the same so if you want to take part in the the pre-sale for for this one um jump into the discord you will need to hold either a cheeky uh cornucopius uh nft race suit uh to to get into to the private sale a cheeky verse nft or a diamond nft uh, but all the details and links for the nfts are in the discord so feel free to jump in and ask away um there's all the pitch decks and and everything there but again it's great tokenomics solid team like so dr ben gertzel's involved in this one absolutely so guys those are the five coins to five million with a wild card at the end there of rejuve which is basically another spin-off from singularity guys hopefully you found this video useful informative maybe even entertaining at times if you did smash that like button subscribe for more and make sure you join us down in discord until the next one have a fantastic day